hello hello gemini we're gonna do your single read and see what's going on with you and your person today i know i'm doing this a little bit late but your girl had readings today okay all right so <laughs> i told you guys i was booked today remember like i think i brought that up yesterday in my video so i was booked today and tomorrow so i'm doing my videos later in the day all right so let's get into your single read gemini and see what's going on with you and your person if this resonates remember to i can't even speak remember to like the video y'all give this video a big thumbs up okay and um if it doesn't resonate you guys i will have the link in the description box for you it will be your playlist and go over to my instagram and support the cause as well over there all right the instagram link is also in the description do not type it in you guys go ahead and just click the link all right there's just way too many scammers okay i don't want to receive any more messages of being of you guys being scammed it's a sad situation on here sad but let's get into it and thank you guys for all of you that reached out for bookings as well. I'm still booked up until tomorrow and I have some ones, I have some slots available for, um, I think Thursday and Friday. Um, so let me know if you guys are interested. Okay. They go. Yeah. Let me, let me know. Let me know. All right. So we have the five of wands here. So I'm getting like there's some things that you're dealing with right now, Gemini, singles. You're dealing with a lot of getting yourself together, uh, maybe ending some relationships here, um, not seeing eye to eye with some people here, kind of protecting your energy. I feel like for some of you, you're making a decision between, you know, trying to keep the peace or trying to walk away, okay? I'm feeling like there's a lot of like negative energy around you right now. Um, you're coming off as someone that is very like ready for a committed relationship. Someone that is ready for it to settle down here. I'm feeling like you are, you have your head on your shoulders. You know, you're a good person when it comes to, you know, your plans and your money and where you want to see yourself. But I'm feeling like there's a lot of people that does not come through for you, Gemini. This is what I'm seeing. Like they tell you something and they just let you wait in the wings here. And this is causing you to have a lot of mistrust with other people and a wall up. Okay. Because I see like you're trying to protect your energy at all costs here. I'm seeing like something that you want to set free that you are like stuck in with this judgment. Like you don't know if you want to set a full decision and make it a permanent one with someone that is really just making you feel like it's not a good vibe okay it's not a good vibe this person is coming off as someone very manipulative i'm feeling like like i said your energy is really really good and this person's energy is just not as good okay this person is coming off as someone that is just like trying to wear you down with them you know this is what i'm feeling like this person is trying to wear you down here like you're the light and right now they feel like betrayed they feel like they've been through a lot as a child they feel like the closest light to them is you and the what they want to do is destroy that because their light has been destroyed basically in their life um i just feel like you need to be careful with this energy okay you really need to be careful with this person. I don't trust this person, but I'm not getting the good vibes right now for this person. So let's see what else the angels have coming through for Gemini single. I'm feeling like you're saving up money when it comes to your money. Like you're being like trying to figure some things out here trying to hold on to your pennies you know what i'm saying not try to have people know that you have money saved up wow there's a situation coming into your life that's gonna 
you're going to go through it with this person, okay? This could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I'm feeling like somebody wants to send you a message here. Somebody has something very excited to talk about. They want you to see what they've been up to. They want to share their life with you. Maybe start off as friends. They love your inspiration. They feed off of that. I'm also feeling like... This is a strong connection, you guys. Um, again, it doesn't have to be love, but there's someone coming to you where you put an end to a cycle with this person. They come in and out of your life. This is what I'm getting here. They're doing this because they feel like there's some kind of, again, your light. You know, you are ready for a committed relationship. You're coming off as somebody who has your life together. You know, you look like somebody that has a luxury, okay? And this is what you want to accomplish and this is what you treasure. Um, for you, for them, you're coming off as somebody who has nice things as well, okay? And this is how you like to live your life. But I'm feeling like there's some hold back here where this person's either wearing a mask with you or not really showing you their true selves or you're just like, you know how this person is and you're just holding back from this person as well. I'm feeling like the situation died, okay? This relationship here, like died and this person is like ready to move forward back to you because they're moving forward this, to this tower here. I don't know if you can see that, okay? I'm getting Scorpio, Scorpio Aries um, energy here, okay? Where this person is moving back to you, okay? Gemini, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio or Aries. Um, but I'm feeling strongly, it could also be an Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. But I feel like this is a this is a person that really costs you a lot of money. It also comes always come back to money. This is what I'm seeing here. Like this person you gave a lot to, of money to, or this person might have used you, or try to get a loan from you, or you was like spending a lot of things um, that they wasn't supposed to spend. When it comes to you, um, I feel like this person trying to leave you in debt. I, I feel like you did something to them or for them. Maybe signed some documentation for them to get a house, a car. A motorcycle, okay, for God's sakes. And you had to take the responsibility here. And they try to really mess up your life with this. But you actually ended the situation. You took care of it. Something that you're taking care of, you guys. You're putting an end to this. This cycle with them. Okay, let's see. Well, not a cycle, but you're putting an end to whatever they caused. This disappointment here. Because you feel like this person used you. I just feel like, I don't think they used you. Honestly, you know what I'm feeling? I feel like you have so much and they don't know how to handle it. They never had anything. And they just don't know how to stay humble. Like, get your own stuff, you know? Work hard. Play ball. <laughs> Play ball. This person is not playing ball, y'all. This person wants your stuff. Okay, I'm seeing that they're coming towards you. All right, they want a second chance here, they want to see where things go here. All right, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm definitely feeling like this person is going to give you an offer, it could be an, a, a great offer. Okay, but again, for me, I feel like this offer is going to be very like overwhelming. Um, trying to figure out where you are at all times kind of thing. I don't like this, but at the same time, they feel content with you. All right. I see investment here, but I feel like, you know, can this person like fulfill your cup? Can this person stay this way with the nine of cups in reverse? I feel like they're giving you all these empty dreams here. They, they want to do good by you. I feel like but, you know, at the end of the day, it comes down to all these lies and betrayals. It comes down to you investigating this person. You're not trusting what they're saying and you have good reason to listen to your intuition. I don't feel like this person is good for you. Mm -mm. I don't feel like it. I feel like they're going to sell you a dream. Uh, I feel like it's like they're planning, like they're planning all these things. Right? And I'm seeing like you give your portion of money 
It always comes down to money, you guys. You give your portion of money here. Or on this end, the five of pentacles. Okay. And I'm seeing like this person has nowhere to be found on the closing part. Nowhere to be found. And so you're stuck losing money again because of this person. I feel like they make plans, but they don't go through with it. Like, I'll do this and you do this. And, you know, and they're nowhere to be found. Follow your intuition. Your intuition knows it all. This is going to be a strong, strong bond with this person here. You're going to feel like you know them forever because that's a soul contract. It's a lesson, you know, um, from the universe. They This is before you were born, uh, okay? This person is meant to be in your life. You know, I feel like with soulmate situations, when, when it's a contract like this, um, these people are meant to be in our lives. Of course, we're supposed to find our soulmates and hopefully, you know, live happily, hopefully. Hopefully, not always, um, live happily ever after. But that's a fantasy. The world that we live in today, you guys, you know, you're thrown into a family that you didn't sign off on. You don't know where you're going to end up. OK, it's like a juggle. But at the end of the day, do you want to be a good, decent person or you want to be a, you know what? OK, and I feel like, you know, a lot of the a lot of the readings that I do, like these people choose to be a horrible person okay and then they find you and they don't even know what love is and they don't even know that this is this is what you know this is the person that they're supposed to be with and they end up treating you like crap and this is what happens you guys okay but I feel like with prayer and healing and manifestation and really just keeping a positive light the universe will always turn things around um, and bring blessings and reward when things like this doesn't work out. They reward you when things like this doesn't work out. Just stay humble. Listen to your intuition. And this is what I'm seeing here. You need to listen to your intuition because it is saying, hello, do you see me? <laughs> okay. Because I'm doing the reading and I'm like, hello, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Okay, but this is what I see for you guys. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye, guys.